All right. Sun finally came out, but <coughs> sun is out. Seven degrees, negative seven degrees actually. Tomorrow's gonna snow again. Forecasting that around. It's gonna be negative 28 in about three days, and then it's going to snow again. Um, to be honest, I want it to be sunny again. Can't wait for the spring to come, but the kids are enjoying it still, so that's great. We found the only hill in Atarao. Yeah, the only hill in Atarao seems like. Success. <laughs> Alright, Natalie, show him how you do it. Wow, look at Danila. <laughs> Here we go, Natalie's turn. Don't break anything, baby. You got it, you got it. Okay, go. Ready? Ready? Set, I'll push you. No, no, no. Go. How do I show? Show us your tunnel, Danila. Did you guys make this? No. <laughs> Can you go in? Yeah. Woo! Check this out. Everyone's out and about fishing. So cool. I'm currently in the center in the main plaza in the city of Atarao. So we're back again today to enjoy the day in this cold winter. You can rent these things here for 500 tenge, so a little over a dollar per 15 minutes. But good fun though. It's Sunday today, so everything is pretty much closed. But here we are. Danilo, what do you think? Ah. You like it? Ah. You don't get dizzy? No. <laughs> here we go. Let's spin. Nice. Okay, you see this? Go, Danila! We're winning! Thanks, Natalie! Say hi! Go ahead, Zia. What happened? So, one of my friend's dad was pulling me, then he fell on me. I don't know what happened to her. <laughs> so you kind of hurt your back, but I you're like okay. I can't breathe for a second, but I'm good. Yeah, but she's good now. So be careful. You could trip while you're having fun, especially, especially on the snow. How about you, Danilo? How was your experience? Did you enjoy it? Um, you know, people will think you're just a bird when you're going. <laughs> so after you've enjoyed kind of playing around with the kids, learn a little bit of a uh, Kazakh history finally figured out what these things are these are actually different poems to different um, Kazakh heroes uh, each one of them have different poems and these pillars that you see and in the middle are actually two Kazakh generals fought against uh, Russian colonialism historical and fun square we've also learned that during summertime pre-covid that they would do a reenactment of uh, some kind of historical uh, event uh, involving these guys above here. So there'll be horses here. Um, so we're looking forward to that when things go back to the norm or somewhat norm. Tucked away from the center. So maybe like two roads that way is the center of the city. But uh, one thing I really appreciate about here uh, in Kazakhstan uh, every community pretty much have like a playground um, like a little area where kids can play football soccer uh, basketball um, yeah and so you can see the apartments and just surrounded by apartments around you and in the middle of it 
you'll have some kind of uh, place where the kids can get. Obviously, I don't want to show the face of the kids, but my kids are there just playing as well. And then um, just a bunch of uh, other kids in the community seems to just be enjoying their time.